Not the bangs. The bangs. Hey angels, and welcome back to Shorty Creations. If you guys are new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're not new to my channel, then you already know the vibes, bitch. In today's video, I'm trying out some new hair that I received from Gorgeous Hair. This hair is a very much boho chic inspired wig, which made me a bit nervous because it's something I've never tried before, especially the bangs. I was like, girl, the bangs, the bangs is what making me nervous. So my South African girlies would know it's been hot for the past, I don't even know how long, for the past two months, it has been boiling hot. And I just feel like having a lace wig and having to install a wig and use glue and an and it's just, not sustainable in this weather which is why i was really excited to review this hair because it's so easy it doesn't take much of your time and it's glueless this hair is very much a boho chic inspired wig this is a boho curl true scalp bang wig and it is 16 inches it's glueless it came pre-plugged pre-bleached and the curls were customized if you guys would like some more details about this wig it'll be linked down below please do also check out gorgeous hair on instagram let me know what you guys think of this wig how do i look what do you guys think it's like a new vibe it's a new feel i mean this is 2023 me okay a huge shout out and thank you to gorgeous hair for sponsoring today's video and for sending me this hair so if you guys would like to see how i style this wig how i put it together and how it looked this good then i suggest you continue watching and without wasting any more of your time let's get into today's video as you guys can see, I already have my wig cap on and underneath I don't have cornrows this time. I actually have my hair out. And before we continue on with this video, I just wanted to share with you guys a few tips and tricks that I picked up over the year of wearing wigs. And I cut my hair early last year and this is what my hair looks like now. And I've kind of experimented with different products, especially because your real hair is underneath all that moisture when you're wearing a wig. I just thought I should share with you guys some of the things that I've been doing to keep my hair moisturized. And also it is a protective hairstyle but to keep my roots protected. So I'm someone who has low porosity hair. So it basically means that my hair isn't able to retain moisture as quickly. So constantly applying, you know, like your oils, your moisturizer, this really doesn't work for me because then I start developing like a lot of dandruff because of the build up of product so it's just a lot so basically I avoid too much oils I avoid moisturizer because moisturizer contains a lot of water and I revert to hair food so two of my most goaded products okay firstly this is the pure royal scalp stimulant absolutely love this product it really just keeps my hair moisturized without like over moisturizing if that makes sense as i had to tell you guys like i really suffer from bad dandruff so i cannot be using any products that are too heavy for my hair and i've also been using this grow strong hair food anti dandruff with peppermint and this is from dark and lovely so usually throughout the week i just apply a really really thin layer of this on my scalp because if I put too much chow. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys two products that I've been using, especially underneath my wigs. Like I said, I try avoid moisturizers and oils and I just refer to my hair foods. That is basically how I've been taking care of my hair underneath my wigs. Now that I've shared with you guys how to keep your hair protected underneath these wigs, we can get started into today's video. I received hair from Gorgeous Hair and this is the packaging that the hair came in. Yeah, this packaging is absolutely gorgeous child do you see that like when i saw this box i was like i want to know what's in here in the box they gave me a few nice things so this packet came in the package and inside this bag they gave me an edges brush as you guys can see there's a comb side as well as a brush side two clips Pink, obviously, in line with the Shorty Creations brand, period. Some hair clips, which really does come in handy in this wig game, okay? They gave me this strap. It's an adjustable strap, which I can attach to the wig. And obviously, I can cut it to suit how tight I want the wig to be. And they gave me some tweezers. I absolutely love this. So we can get to plucking, girl. So that's everything that came in this little bag. And then we have 
the packaging for the hair it's this white silk bag and it's branded gorgeous absolutely love gorgeous gorgeous girl this is the wig straight out of the box as you guys can see the curls the volume it's flowing through my fingers and I'm absolutely obsessed so this wig is actually called the 16 inch hard to resist because she is irresistible honey like she is irresistible and this is a boho curly tree to scalp wig and it has bangs as you guys can see in the front and i just want to show you guys the parting you can see that it did come pre-plucked and pre-bleached and you can see it is true to scalp baby and i'm so excited to try this on and to try this wig because as a full-time working girly an aspiring full-time content creator i just want something that i can pop on look good in and go and this is absolutely the wig for that on the inside it has these two clips on the side. It has this elastic band just to keep the wig tight and on your head. It is glueless, so we wanna make sure that it is secure. They did give me an extra elastic band, which I can cut and attach to this if it is too small, and you can adjust it as you want it. You can also cut this off and then re-sew it to the size that you want. And then there is one clip at the back as well. Let's try this on. Let's see how it looks on me. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous, but let's just pop it on. I'm gonna be looking at my mirror here. I'm hoping for the best. Ooh. Ooh, cha. is giving Diana Ross. Damn. Let me just get these bangs out of here. Ooh, okay. This is a lot of curls, honey. There's <laughs> a lot of curls. She is a lot. I think some of the bangs are still underneath here. I just wanna make sure that they're all out. Okay. Ooh. I definitely need to customize the bangs because I have quite a small face. But it fits really well, like it's very secure. Ooh, it's a lot of curl, honey. <laughs> it's a lot of curl. Let's make sure the bang is giving. It's a lot of curl, though. Like, I can't even see y'all. Genuinely. Okay, so this is what it looks like before I'm going to customize and style it. I definitely think I need to cut the bangs shorter because I can't even see y'all. I don't know. I've never had a short curly wig, and I don't know how to feel about it. <gasps> I'm still not sure. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> I am so nervous. But basically, this is what it looks like. I think it's cute. I mean, it's cute, honey. It's all over the place, but it's cute, okay? But I think it's cute. I like the color. I don't know. What do y'all think? Before we get started on this, what do you guys think? Let me know. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think so far. Cause I'm so scared, I'm so scared. Like, I'm scared. Okay, but let's see what we're going to do. Let's get into the customization and the styling of this wig. I'm gonna start off with my wide tooth comb and I'm just gonna brush out the curls. Just wanna see what the vibe is. I'm gonna start by brushing out the curls. I don't wanna remove the curls, which is why I'm using a wide tooth comb and not anything too harsh. So I'm just gonna brush these out. I also just wanna see how long the bangs are so I know where to cut. Okay, so this is what it's looking like after I've brushed out the curls. It's giving scissor, yo. Guys, I feel like this is giving scissor. Now I'm gonna go in with my scissors and I'm gonna cut the bangs because I cannot see nothing, okay? So I'm just gonna pull them out and I'm gonna kinda not cut them straight, I'm gonna like cut them in layers because curls are not straight, you know what I'm saying?
finish cutting the bangs i'm pretty happy with like where they are now i don't want them to be too short so i think this is like a perfect place to be what do y'all think what do y'all think of bangs but i really like them where they are now covering the brow you know giving a little bit of sultry you know <laughs> absolutely love next i'm going to be going in with a mixture of some water and conditioner the conditioner that i'm going to be using is this repair and care conditioner it's by organics so i'm just mixing a little bit of this conditioner with some water just gonna mix it up a bit and i'm gonna go in with this and my white to comb Okay, okay, you guys can relax, okay? Because a wet look is definitely not something that I'm going for. So I'm gonna leave this hair to air dry for about 30 minutes and I'll be back to show you guys the complete and final look. I just know when it comes to that water and conditioner combo, it just brings the curls alive. Like, there's just a different vibe that I'm gonna get after this is dry than how it looked before. And I'm excited to show you guys the complete and final look. She don't want my love, I guess I gotta move on Hey, oh yeah, oh yeah oh, well, She don't want my love, I guess I gotta move on Yeah, yeah, oh yeah oh, no. The curls came through, y'all, the curls came through Did I see this bounce, you guys see this volume? I'm actually so shook at how good I look in this because I'm not even lie to you guys, I was scared, okay? I was hashtag scared because this is so different to what I would usually wear. But I'm kind of liking this new vibe. Basically, I left the hair to dry for about like an hour. I know I said 30 minutes, but then I kind of got busy and carried away. I'm so happy with how this look turned out. It was quick, it was easy, and I really love efficiency. And I just wanted to show you guys how it looked before I styled this y'all see the difference and how it looks now i mean i do think it looked decent like before i styled the wig but i just think styling the wig takes it to the next level you also get to see like how it looks on you cut the bangs according to your face how you would want it and i also just wanted to show you guys the parting in the middle just so you guys can see where they bleached and plucked it and kind of just how realistic it be looking. And with that being said, we have officially come to the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoy just styling this hair with me. Kind of seeing me in something different. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And a huge shout out and thank you to Gorgeous Hair for sponsoring today's video. If you guys would like to check them out, they have a wide range of clueless wigs, which I think is so amazing. Especially for people who are starting out in wigs, people who want something quick and easy. So I do urge you guys to please check out their website, which will be linked down below. And I'll also leave all their social Social media details please do check them out and thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye guys